everyone, happy day 249. I woke up this morning to a bittersweet taste in my mouth. And no, it wasn't morning breath. Today is Logan's last day of school, his last time going to St. Mary Academy, his last day as a middle schooler, and his last time in the same school as his brother. I knew this day was coming, but this morning when I got out of bed to go wake Logan up for the last time, it really hit me that my son is growing up. On the way to school this morning, Logan asked me why I was happy and sad at the same time. I told him that I was very happy that he was going to start a new chapter in his life, one that I know he's ready for. But as his mom, I'm sad because it means my baby is walking further away from me. I said, sometimes I wish I could just keep you right where you are and stop time. As I looked at him in the rearview mirror and watched him roll his eyes at my sentimental words, I thought about what I had just said. I looked back at him with a smirk and said, well, maybe not the 14 year old you. We both smiled at each other only as a mother and son can. At 740, I gave both boys a kiss, told them I loved them and watched them walk into school together for the last time. As I drove away, I thanked God for all the beautiful years and asked him for many more. After I dropped them off, I went over to the local bakery to pick up Logan's graduation cakes. Yes, I said cakes with an S. We are expecting about 15 people back at our house after the graduation for cake and ice cream, so I ordered two. One is Logan's absolute favorite of all time, a maple round cake, and the other one is a more traditional marble cake with vanilla frosting. When I was in the line to pick up the cakes, my phone rang and it was the boys school. Every time I see that number pop up on my phone, my stomach always turns and I think, oh no. To my surprise, Logan was on the other end of the phone. He said, hi mom, I forgot my yearbook. Can you go home, get it and bring it back to me? At first I hesitated because I knew if I did it, there would, wouldn't be enough time to still make it to church for the rosary at 8.30. But like I said yesterday, being a mom comes first. So after I picked up the cakes, I headed home. In between dropping off the cakes, searching for his yearbook, and driving back to the school, I managed to say the rosary. Like I have said and will continue to say, this journey is about looking for a way in, not a way out. Sometimes you just have to be creative. In the first reading today, we hear a story about my favorite guy, St. Paul. While under arrest in Jerusalem, the Lord visits him, stood by him and said, take courage. For just as you have bore witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. Can you even imagine what was going through Paul's mind? I mean, he is one tough guy, but I'm sure he was scared and feeling abandoned in that jail. For the Lord to come to him, stand by him, and utter those words, he had to have needed some reassurance. By doing that, God made it clear that he would walk beside him every step of the way. I have never been in a situation like that, but I have definitely felt scared, unsure, and in need of reassurance. As a mother, I second-guess everything. Am I handling this situation the right way? Am I being too tough? Am I being too lax? What should I do about this? Have I done the right thing? The list could go on for pages. As I think about Logan and his last day in eighth grade, so many of these questions flood my mind. But the one that I keep asking myself is, have I given him everything he needs to close the door at SMA and open the new one that is before him? Reading the words from God today, I may not know the answer to all of my questions or if I've done everything right. But I do know one thing. No matter what, God is beside Logan every step of the way. The Lord will stand by him and give him courage to open any door that comes his way. I hope all of you out there have a blessed day 249. Please know that I am praying for you always, and I will see you tomorrow.